This CAD model right here is amazing. This is a design Carl helped me with from the DIY 737 project. It's really interesting to see all of the detail that went into this, especially the wing. There's so many things in this model that I want to preserve into the next model, but there are also some things that unfortunately make it not very practical to reuse. One of the primary ones is that I would completely ruin the structure system if I basically just got a chainsaw and chopped it into sections to fit through the door. Purpose of this video is to find out how to merge these two CAD files into one that hopefully will outrun them all. Actually, now that I'm filming this, this brings up a huge issue because regardless of how I split it, I believe this door will actually be impossible to fit through the door. 80 millimeters, two inches. This will be physically impossible to fit through the door if we split all of our sections at 24 inches. But first, let's just give you a tour of the CAD model. So right here, there's basically a piece where it looks like from the front of section one to section one's baby child, I don't know what to call it, there's kind of this form of pieces of wood that come together as a family and form a little cage. So I really like this. I couldn't find a meaningful way to really do this, and I'm really excited to figure this way out. It looks like there's a structure here and a structure here that hold it all together, and then it, I feel like these would just be screwed together. We have a pretty similar structure in here where we have this bulkhead and this bulkhead, and then all of the screws screw together. We then have another bulkhead inside the cabin, and this is kind of where you'd see those air valves. I don't know what they actually are now that I'm on camera. And the level of detail that went into this model is phenomenal. You'll actually see that there's a little bit of a gap between the doors, because if there wasn't a gap there, it would be too tight and it wouldn't close very well. Before I ever saw this model, I didn't have a wing on my simulator model, and now I added one. I got jealous. So, this wing is made up of a few components, and you can see inside of it, with a very similar makeup to a real wing. You have all of the ribs, and you also have a sheet of plywood covering it. I love the construction of the wing, and I hope to emulate this in my CAD model. You also see a windshield right here, and it looks really cool. I love all the textures and all of the detail that went into this model. We can actually go through the timeline and see what exactly happened, which is one of my favorite things about CAD. To the beginning. So this is all of the work I did to make the Cessna 172. I used a bunch of profiles, fancy stuff, and then made an in the simulator model. From here, things get a little funky. Here's me lofting everything together to make them basically cool shapes. So a lot of cool stuff is happening here. So this is the sketch that was used for the little bulkheads. And then if you go forward even more, you can see some fun things happening. Over here is something super cool. This is the sketch that was used for all of the profiles right here. This is what these little line things came from, and it looked like he actually used a midpoint, which I think is pretty cool. You could adjust the thickness of the board right here to be 15, and then another 15 if you wanted these to be 30 millimeter plywood instead of 18. I don't know if that's a thing, which I think is really cool. Something I didn't realize at first was that he actually lofted these two sketches together and then got that little donut sliver and then went slicing from there, which I think is a technique I could take advantage of. So he sliced here, sliced here, sliced here, sliced here, just to make sure everything works as it should. It looks like a bunch of fun things happened on the wing. Uh, profiles made here, extruded it, and then he made a bunch of these little profiles here for the ribs, which I think is super cool. It also looks like right here, this windshield is cut around the wing, which I like that feature. So I'm, I'm gonna try to do, make that into reality. And then a door was made right here, which I think is super cool. It looks like all of these are concentric to this circle dot right here. That's the, I believe, midpoint of the arc. And I think that's really smart. 
This was all then shelled out um, and extruded until we got here. There's also a drawing right here for the windshield and that was split. And that brings us to where we are here. This is a super cool model and Carl even agreed to have it shared for free in the link in the description below. So you can find it in the GitHub and if for some reason it gets randomly detached, I'll also put it in a Google Drive folder. After a little bit of work, I got my base model to look like this. I added some wings right here just to make it look cooler and I actually plan on making these a realistic profile like getting an actual Clark Y airfoil design into it. Right now it's just kind of a few splines I magically put together. But what I really want to do is have that beautiful kind of web rib design for here. Before filming this, I had the hiccups, but then I opened my CAD model and they magically went away. It must be very scary. There are a few errors that I've made, and I think I can go back in the version history to show you them. One of these was this sketch right here. It's a little bit sketchy if you ask me. You'll notice it's yellow because I referenced something and then deleted it. Uh, so it kind of has to go off of what it says it is. Also, this line is supposed to go through this right here, but when I moved things around, everything messed up. This is a previous version when the ribs were a lot thicker. You'll notice that this profile and this piece of wood right here kind of merge together. It's a little funky. That's obviously hard to do in real life, so I fixed that and it should be good to go. And you'll also notice I misplaced some things because a lot of my lines, I didn't constrain to the origin. I constrained to a pretty close point that I thought was the origin. So that's one of the mistakes I made. Just make sure you're going off of the origin or off of a set point you know. For me, once I start referencing things and then referencing the references of the references, it, it, gets, it goes down way fast. Another thing was that this cut right here, I only cut half of it so it would look like it was only an eighth inch. Basically picked a point in the middle instead of these and that was because my sketches were all not aligned very well. So that, so you can avoid this. Version 56, let's go. Since I offset these, from here to here is 2.25 inches roughly, but Something I didn't consider is that from from here to here is less than an inch. If you watched my plywood tests last time, you'll know that one inch isn't very strong. So I think we'll have to go into this and just update the offset just a little bit. I, who made this equation? They should be fired. Oh, ooh, that's me. So the old equation was 1.5 times string thick plus sheath ply, so it would be basically this much for the sheathing, plus enough for the stringer thickness, plus half of the stringer thickness. But let's make that two times string thick. This will leave another 1.5 inches instead of less than one. It is a little bit thicker, it's gonna use more wood, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Remember, it's a lot easier to subtract wood than add wood. At least that's what I've been told. So yeah, Fusion has to do a lot of calculations because everything we just told it to do is basically a lie. So you'll notice that this, this profile right here is a lot thicker now and we'll do the same with the last profile. We just really don't want this to be a point where it snaps and even worse would be a point where I break it, because that would make me feel stupid. The reference design changed, so once we link it, it'll get a lot thicker. Yeah, we have this front profile, it doesn't have a notch on the bottom, which is good. And then we have all of these too. So I'm going to export and print these two. If you want, you can follow along with the project, the GitHub is in the description below. You can just press the code and then download zip file to download all of the files. I have the shell assembly I made right here and I also have 
the complete assembly. If I go over to the drawing, it responds to over here. You'll notice the fifth profile since I read since I all good to go. Late, late profile files are awful. It's first first profile good. Second second one. So so good. This just after rehead the core core boss bodies. When we really really things went a little a little they really and then it it read and re put the the sure over here here, here. Don't, want, don't want to want any any sib sib sibs. I only want to see these little profile files profile. Only one of these has correct correct views. You can go ahead and change the view for this for this one. This we want I believe the e, e, oh. For, for a lot of these, need to to rotate, rotate either 277 degrees or green or green. This is fan, fast, fantastic. I think they are all in order. Order. I do want to make sure do that, that they are named proper, namely that'd be a little embarrassing, embarrassing if they weren't, weren't. They weren't. I think we just saved, saved a piece of paper. Piece of paper. This is now now vision B. B. An another thing I wanted to do was make make the the, the point five five inches of inch. I'd ask for a test. Since this this is all this is all metric metric. If I go over here, I I can set the string thickness to point point five, five inches. Little little will go easy. Ask ask me to do everything. It might even ruin it a little bit, bit. but we can go back and, and fix the thing we need to. Ooh, uh, uh, if we uh, if the we just see that that drawings will, uh, will update as well. Army is, is wondering if 1.5 1, 1. is 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 thin thin. Army says says no is not of me it's like heck heck. I would would I was expensive so doing this this doing once one would be be theoretically cheaper cheap. What's even more expensive than plywood is buying plywood twice. I would so I make sure I'm not ruining my future.